Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. Smartphones are awesome for shooting regular content videos on a budget. Everyone's got one and the quality these days is more than enough to get great results, so there's no excuse. In the past, we've released complete guides to shooting on iPhone and Android devices, and I'll throw some links on screen now in case you haven't seen them. We've had some awesome feedback on these videos, but probably the biggest question that's been coming through is why are we recommending the front-facing camera over the rear camera? As we all know, the rear-facing cameras in most smartphones is generally better quality than the front-facing cameras. But despite the lower quality image, the front-facing cameras have one main advantage for shooting your videos. With the screen facing you, it allows you to monitor your framing, monitor your shot, and monitor that you actually are recording while you shoot without the need for a second person there to help. So this is critical because it helps remove more barriers around creating content by removing the need to have other people there to help you create the content. Plus the front facing camera on most modern smartphones these days will produce more than enough quality for anything, especially if you're outputting to YouTube or online. Now, we have a bit of an update on this. With some recent software updates, it's become much easier to start using the rear facing camera and frame your shot live without a second person helping. So that's pretty cool. I'm talking about using your PC, your Mac, or your iPad as a viewfinder for your iPhone or Android device live while you're shooting. I've been keeping an eye out for options to do this effectively for a while. I've tried a heap of different alternatives and I couldn't find anything that could do what we wanted live, wirelessly and reliably. Until now. The latest version of Reflector from a company called Air Squirrels now supports reliable wireless streaming from an iPhone or Android smartphone live to the screen of your Mac or PC, meaning that you can use the screen of your Mac or PC as a live viewfinder for the rear camera of your iPhone or Android device and monitor everything while you shoot. For iPhone and Mac users, you could do this before by just plugging in your iPhone into your computer and opening up QuickTime and watching your screen that way. But I found that the cable was very limiting and Reflector just makes things so much easier and user-friendly. So the first thing to do is to purchase and download Reflector 2. So head over to airsquirrels.com forward slash Reflector. So once it's installed, you'll be able to see it up the top here and it says here, Justin's MacBook Pro. That's it as far as this is concerned. Just make sure that your device and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. If you're using an Android device, you will need the Google Cast app, which is available free on the App Store. Open up Google Cast and click on the settings button in the top left and choose Cast Screen Audio. It pops up Cast 2 and there's our computer running Reflector, Justin's MacBook Pro. So you see straight away that Reflector has picked up the screen share and is now showing my Android device. As I rotate it, you can see that it updates live on the computer. Then it's just a matter of opening up your camera app and you'll see your phone screen mirrored live to your computer screen. And it works exactly the same from an iPhone, except you'll swipe up from the bottom and hit AirPlay. You can see Justin's MacBook Pro there. We'll turn on mirroring. And you can see when we open up the camera app, we're able to monitor it live as well. So there you go. You can now get out there and start using your rear facing camera for your content videos. As always, if you found this video helpful, we really appreciate a share, a thumbs up or a comment. If not, thumb it down. We'd love the feedback. Make sure you head over to primalvideo.com forward slash subscribe to receive all our weekly video updates. I'll see you next time.